Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not selling computers, although I'm used to. Now, this is part of my continuing Replace Windows 10 series. And what that series is really about is for people who are curious about making the move or transition from Microsoft or Apple over to Linux. So this is really for people who are brand new to Linux. And the topic of today is no licenses, no problem. And so for a lot of people who are buying either a Windows machine or a Mac machine, they feel like they own the whole computer. And you do own the hardware, however, the operating system that's on those computers, you do not own. You are basically leasing uh, the computer operating system through a license that both Microsoft and Apple is giving to you whenever you purchase the machine. Now you can obviously buy these operating systems separately, but once again, you are paying for the license you do not own the operating system. So with that being said, there are some things that come with that. First and foremost, both Microsoft and Apple, they have legal rights to actually access your operating system. Now, the level of access that they have is dependent upon what they have in a privacy agreement. So that's why a lot of people uh, who use Windows know that they do have backdoor access. And Apple has something similar as well. However, whenever you do purchase your machine, you are agreeing to all of this with the EULA, which is the End User License Agreement. So that's first and foremost. And the second thing, which is basically the topic of today, is that since you are leasing these operating systems, you're buying a license for them, that doesn't mean that you could just take that operating system and put them on as many machines as you want. But in Linux, you can. I have Linux on every single one of these machines, and I didn't have to pay a license for any of them because they are open source and they do have their own license which is the GNU uh, GPL license, which is basically a open source license. So that means I could put Linux on as many machines as I want without having to ask permission or pay for a license from uh, Windows or from Apple. So that is something that is a real big bonus for people who are coming from the Windows, Mac world over to Linux. And it's another reason why I really enjoy using Linux. So I'm going to give you a little tour of these older machines that I have. They're from 2005 all the way to 2016. And I just want to show you that even though you know, as hardware goes, your operating system actually gets older and it gets slower. With Linux, not only can you put on older machines, but at the same time, legally, you can still use them on as many machines as you want. So enjoy this really quick tour. And as always, you know, if you did get a lot of value out of these videos, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. Enjoy the tour. So let's take a tour of my Linux machine, starting with the oldest one, the Dell D810. This is actually from 2005. And as you can see, it still has Linux on it. However, the screen is really messed up. And the version of Linux that I have is Linux Mint 15 Olivia, as you could probably tell. Now, when I got this laptop, it actually had Windows XP on there. So that is pretty, pretty old. But... It can still run Linux, uh, however, the screen is no longer working. So the second one that I have is my Toshiba Satellite. Now this one, I don't remember what year it came out, but as you can tell, it actually has Windows Vista on there, so that's pretty old in and of itself. And this is a pretty beat up machine, however, it runs Linux Mint just fine. And here I have my current laptops that I use. This is my main laptop. This is my AMD A8. Whenever I got this, this actually had Windows 8 on here. And this one I think came out about three years ago. And then my secondary machine is also about three years old. This actually had Windows 8 and then it did get upgraded to Windows 10. However, I did put a Linux Mint on both of them. This one, my current one, has Linux Mint 17.3. And then this one actually had Linux Mint 18 on there. And this one right here, the final one, is my current machine, which is my Linux Monster PC. This is actually running Linux Mint 18. And it is my beastly machine that I use on a regular basis. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.